Five panellists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. What, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just decolonize you. It's less than inspiring when those mandated to act on our behalf seem to be making a habit of acting without thinking things through. So when in doubt, they take all down. So the forced eviction and evacuation of long-standing residents of Takwa Bay has come and gone. The Nigerian Navy affected the exercise, giving residents no notice at all. The reason for the exercise was ostensibly to rid the area of illegal oil bunkers and petroleum vandals, who do not count for a majority of the occupants of the island. Ironic that there was a divisional police office that should have been consulted and equipped to ensure that vandals are constantly caught and flushed out. I feel a great sense of shame that one belongs to a nation that cannot, in 2020, selectively deal with a problem. A nation without true intelligence capability within its armed forces, and one which its ruling clique act with almost no compassion for the common man. Looking back at the constant evictions that have become a part of Lagos life, it is shocking, perhaps only to a foreigner, that we would throw people out of their living spaces. That it has happened again, where water transport is the only way out, is heartbreaking. The ruling clique of top politicians, top military officers, past and present, and their civilian friends live as though tomorrow will never come. They live a false life of full ostentation amongst the squalor of their fellow citizens. Where exactly does the Chief of Naval Staff, and for that matter, Mr. President, think that the displaced people are right now? The two to three-year-olds, the babies, the working men and women. Where are the illegal traders and saboteurs who they should have been truly after? If the Navy cannot man and patrol a small island, how safe is Nigeria? This matter should be investigated, but sadly, by whom? Foreigners? I mean, it's important that we start to deal with mass housing as a matter of national urgency. It is important to speak to professionals who have prepared studies for the actualization of our dream to house all. It is time to revamp the education system of not just civilian education, but military education too. It is time to appoint a building professional to the ministerial position at the Housing and Works. This sad incident is symptomatic of the decline of Nigeria. Evacuation of the island was not the answer. That was simply a lazy act of wickedness. Yeah, yeah I couldn't have put it better. That is a lazy act of wickedness. And that is, that is something that I'm beginning to... Uh, I, I, this is what's going on in Nigeria all the time. This one of banning keke and... Mm -hmm. Nobody's saying that the reasons for doing it, mm -hmm. you know, are not Correct. valid, but... You've got to provide an alternative. No, you no, can't... those reasons, Uche, they bring those reasons to validate the point. But, right. Those I'm are the just... reasons that you will accept. Yes, yes. no, but I'm even but saying, let's even, accept, let's even it's accept, not those accept reasons. the reasons. Let's accept the reasons that it's From due to value. insecurity, yeah. it's due to all right. of those things. But you don't displace all those people yeah, no, yeah, because of illegal people oil bombing. That's what Chuka just said, people. that you're saying insecurity. Mm you can handle the insecurity mm -hmm. in that same place. Yes. Yes. Look, take for, for when they wanted to displace those in Morocco, mm. they said that there was a crisis between both families so that yes. they don't create, uh, it doesn't snowball. Mm. And then the next thing, they displace everybody. Mm -hmm. When it was Makoko, mm -hmm. it was the same reason. When it was yes. Otodogbame, it right. was the same yeah. reason. Just recently, I was listening to a commissioner in Lagos State talking about um, Okada riding and the rest. And he said because of insecurity, mm. the accident, the blood. And then the interviewer now asked him, 
don't you think you should have at least, you know, provided an alternative? Yeah, prepared right. Instead of the dangers were just too much that you need to quickly take them out <laughs> before you exactly. begin to before provide an alternative. Yeah. So these are what people want to hear, so they quickly push down the narrative. I mean, I have a different Go to, to the people, people, people believe, believe that. Mm. I'm not sure. Yeah, people, people do. That. Go to sure other crimes. Go to the Netherlands. You see this this same waterways. The the government can re reassess the place and give. Uh, what do you call it? A layout plan of how houses should be they, in yes, those places. Yes, okay. And people, it's like a rich history. People would go there and even, you know, begin to understand how these people who live in this area live their life. And not because you want to take over. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I, 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 I agree with most of what he said, but the Okada one, I'll revisit it next week. But um, my own <laughs> issue, yeah, because I don't agree with that. But, um, uh, you yeah. Know, okay, we'll, don't we'll agree with that. We'll we'll but let me make the point. Yeah, let's leave it. I just referenced it for next time. No, it's okay. You're eating your time. No, we're coming. Let's get on with the main topic. The main topic is that, yes, I was following the story, and I agree with what Chika is saying. You know, 4,000 people on that uh, Takwa Bay have been displaced. So that's a community of 4,000 anyway. Mm. And, um, and essentially, what people are alleging is that's a land gra grabbing exercise. Mm. Because you didn't, it, it, and apparently, the lady, the lady who was arguing the case for them on, what, recently was saying, look, essentially, these people, according to the Constitution, don't even need a light, you know, do you say, a right to the land because normally people argue oh, they legally that, that the constitution actually says if you're going to displace those people because of the, the aspect of the constitution that talks about dignity of life, Correct. you need to provide them with an alternative. Yeah. alternative. So, and that they even have a case, this is Otodo Bame, they have a case against these same people over a year now that it's the case, the, the court ruled in their favor and no compensation has come from mm. them. I people see. have died. I even yeah. have pictures of someone who was severely injured fleeing from Some these people. people. Died, yes. Yes. Came in. So, I was part so of the it. whole thing is just a, a whole, is a, it's a is whole a, is mess. A, is a mess. You know? yeah, because yeah, they have they no did, basis they, to they had what people who were res resident in the railway line. Mm. What they did, they built alternative houses and moved them to you this even place. make that before, before you execute yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. Eviction, the thing is that it's even a mismatch of people the people who have even rights the people who have their homes there they've just carried yeah, the have been living there for 100 but, years you know, yes. the, the, the they, problem they, is they, they, they gave the reason yes. of insecurity but by displacing people by taking okada riders off the road and so on don't you realize that you're just adding yeah, to the insecurity? Okay. Okay. Let's, 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 I know, don't worry, I'm I know, ready for it. But I'm just saying, displacing <laughs> but, but, people yeah, and not the moving them onto there, something else. No, yeah, why yeah, would a graduate there. want to ride Okada? And I don't know That's why Okada was to hold on this. But, 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 but in Italy, they ride motorcycles up and down. Takwa mm. Besha, as you were saying. It's an unfortunate situation. And honestly, I'm hoping that with all the talk in this space, the government will read this. Of seat. course. Those people need to be properly settled. They are human beings. They are legal yes. as well. Of course. Nobody Dignity cares of about life. your settlement here. Yeah. Dig yes. Dignity never of life. Never settle those where no this. Exactly. Yeah. All the other ones settled, right? Right? Many. 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 There's even an image of a guy living in a car. It was a Kano. He's living because yeah. he doesn't know when next. Since they displaced him from a total bar. I mean, he just built a boat and he's cruising in the boat. Yeah. And apparently, at least we have some 30 school children who are going to get in touch with who where are they going? You asked the question, the one year old, the two years old, the yeah. three year old, mm -hmm. and yet, if you don't even have plans for all of these ones, mm -hmm. And then you're talking about... Uh, and he even mentioned yeah. the fact that if you can't deal with the problem on this small... Then sure. how, how, how are you going to secure there's Nigeria? A, there's, a, there's a divisional police office. Yes. The Navy yes. are there. Yeah. The civil... And, uh, and they, can't deal with it. they can't deal with it. They can't deal with it. It's an indictment all, all, all on them. All this anyway. just tells me is that we but who is have in charge, a government though? that is not thinking... No, it's not just government. I think it's the house, Ministry of Housing that gave this... this. Who the gave government. the order? Who is the government? Who is the government? It's the Navy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> they, they, they took action based on what. And soon you now see one tourist yeah. thing spring up there, some yeah, housing, and, and some and housing thing. Owned yeah. by some oh, people. So well, disturbing. there should always be thought before action, and that surely is the language of care. We certainly care about your views, which is why we value hearing your thoughts on this feedback segment. On mental slavery and the African mindset, Rooks or Mawumi simply says this should go viral. <laughs> Feel free to spread the word Rooks. On 9-11, what's your emergency? Omar Jali Monday says, you guys are the best. Your advocate is the best. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. Ah. <laughs> Thanks, Monday. We appreciate your feedback, and we will continue to raise the bar. On the crumbling built environment, Abiodun Martin Sardiniron says, an accurate outlook, a laudable solution, and a worthy pursuit. Given the deeply embedded, embedded status quo, is it achievable? I hesitate to hold my breath. Abiodun, we keep believing and we keep advocating. So just keep your comments coming. Uh, on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag TheAdvocateNG. 
or on Twitter and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, hashtag the advocate NG. To catch up with the previous broadcasts, go to plustvafrica.com slash advocate. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. So Libro zeroes in on the practices that certainly need eliminating if we are to raise the score on our corruption assessment index after the break. Five panelists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they want. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. What, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you.